What's up guys, Aero Sniper here, and I'd like to review a custom bow. Um, normally, you would see me reviewing budget-friendly bows, and that is good to get into archery, and you can shoot the rest of your life with that bow. But someday, you may want to step up to a hand or a custom-made bow. Now, I've got two bows from this bowyer, and his name is Donald Mitchell. From Big D's Bows. I'll put all the links below this video. Um, and this happens to be his Sadie stick. Now I've seen videos of people's uh, thoughts on this bow. And I've, I've been intrigued by it for a while. So I got one from Donnie. And uh, first off it's just absolutely gorgeous. You can see it's got purple heartwood in the riser. Uh, black and white ebony. It's got buffalo horn overlays and a indian head penny um inlay now this bow is a two-piece and if you've never seen a two-piece traditional bow they're pretty neat and uh, they're quick to disassemble and stick in a backpack um, you simply pull it apart and it's got this joint right here uh, that goes up into the handle. Now, once you set that back in and string it, it is solid, and you wouldn't know the wiser unless someone told you that was a two-piece. Now, the only thing I've added to this bow was the beaver tail grip, um, but everything else, it was Donnie. So, what really intrigued me to this bow in particular is it is only four or 54 inches now i have a long draw length i have a 30 inch draw length and i've shot a lot of the shorter bows and they they do fine but they're still stacking if you don't know what stacking is it's when these limbs kind of max out and you kind of hit a wall in your draw cycle and what that does to me in particular is it really twerks my shoulder. I have issues with my shoulder. Now, Donnie, I had already got a 60-inch bow off of Donnie. It was his big chief model, and I've had it uh, for several months now, and I absolutely love it. But I wanted a shorter bow to hunt in a blind with. So, I got this bow off of Donnie. He showed me a picture of him drawing this bow to 34 inches on a tiller rack. And it's just mind-blowing that it's capable of that. Uh, but with this deflex reflex design, and just, he's put, he's put his homework in. But um, it shoots phenomenally well. And sometimes you'll just pick up a bow that, that shoots straight shoots good right off the bat and this is definitely one of them but um i'm gonna i'm gonna just test this bow out and take it through the chrono um we're gonna put it on and check the tiller or check the draw weight and um and just shoot some targets and i'm gonna let you guys see this bow functioning and if you're looking for a custom bow, I highly recommend Donnie. He's a super great guy. You know, he runs a small business. He works a full-time job. And he makes these bows kind of on the side for right now. But his dream is to someday just be a bowyer and, and do that full-time. So definitely uh, check him out. And I, like I said, I'll put all the links below th this video. But let's shoot it. Let's shoot the bow. First, we'll check the draw weight. It's uh, supposed to be 39 pounds at 28 inches. And we'll also draw it to 30 inches and see what kind of poundage I'm pulling in particular. And then we'll shoot some different weight arrows. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, I got the bow strung up. You can see that beautiful uh, deflex reflex profile. I set my brace height at seven and three quarters. That's how I find it shoots best for me. And I'm going to check it on this scale. Now I have an arrow 
This arrow is marked um, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 inches. First, I'm going to check it at 28 and then 30 inches. And I will zoom uh, the camera in so you can see the scale. So here we go. All right, now hopefully you can read the scale. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. All right, so at 28 inches, it's right on the money. And then I'm going to go on down to 30, so my draw length. And we are at 44 pounds, so plenty enough for me to hunt with. Uh, so yeah, his draw weight is dead on. Alright guys, I'm just going to shoot this deer. Um, I have tried this bow instinctive, split finger, and three under. Uh, sometimes I shoot three under split vision. Sometimes I shoot instinctive. But I think for this particular bow inside of a blind, probably going to shoot three under split vision. So that's how I'll shoot right now. So first thing you'll really notice is it's it's a really quiet bow. It really is. And it's fast. Uh, these arrows are full length. Gold tip air strikes, and I've got 220 greens up front. So you're talking close to a 600 grain arrow out of this little bow. You can see right there, I'm getting a nice little group. Now it's really just phenomenal that this bow is, in fact, 54 inches um, and not stacking up at my draw length. So, yeah, that was my last heavy hunting arrow. Now let's switch over to a target weight arrow. It's around 400 grains. You can see it really flings them good. It's a fast little bow. But yeah, let's uh, let's get some side shots. Profile this bow is pretty insane, and then we will check the speed of the arrows. All right, so I'm going to shoot split finger and three under. Because there is a difference, um, three under tends to put a little more stress on that bottom limb. So let's shoot split finger. Now shoot one, three under. So, I mean, you can see that. That's a uh, deflex, reflex shape. But that's right there is 30 inch draw. I'm, I'm pretty anxious to see what kind of speed we're getting on these target weight arrows. Yeah. All right, guys, let's check the speed. All right, guys, hopefully you can see the numbers there, but I'll go ahead and say them as I shoot. So first, I'm going to shoot a hunting weight arrow. This is the exact arrow and weight of broadhead I'll be shooting this year. So first shot. Air. 
try another one. And it is kind of cloudy. One fifty six. So almost a six hundred, uh, almost a six hundred grain arrow out of a little fifty four inch bow. Duplicate. So one fifty six with the hunting weight arrow. Now let's try a target weight arrow. Four hundred grains. One seventy. One seventy. All right, guys. So I'm happy with those speeds. Um, I'll definitely be using this bow in the blind. Like I said, check out uh, Big D's bows, and I'll put all the links below. Real, like I said, super nice guy. Real easy to deal with, and. Uh, it can get just about any material you can think of that you would like in your custom bow. And, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy my, my bow reviews. And I'll be doing a lot more. So, thank you.